There's only four days left of the month as I'm recording this, so that means it is time to go over my favorite songs from K-pop in February. Well, all of just Korean music in general, not just K-pop. But let's dive into this, and you can see all the rules and stuff on the screen. Read through them real quick. Pause it, because we're driving straight into number 10, where we have NCT 127's Ayo. Yes, so Ayo, I know it came out at the end of January, but we're including it for February because it came out after my last video, so it qualifies. I love it. It's my favorite NCT song, NCT 127 specifically song, since Simon Says back in 2019. It really hit with me. I love the vocals, the smooth Do Young vocals. Oh, uh, just so many nice vocals in here, and that's really like the key factor. It's pretty catchy for me. But let's move on to number nine, where we have some K-Hip Hop and the only K-Hip Hop on this list for this month, which is Huns HDYF featuring Hash Swan. Bro, these verses go so hard. It's so enunciated but aggressive at the same time. Han just did so well here, and he did so amazing in Show Me the Money last year, too. But can we talk about Hash Swan? That verse you heard was Hash Swan. He just went the fuck off, and I don't know what got into him, but goddamn Hash Swan, like. Jesus, but moving on to number eight, we have a K band that also dropped something in January after I made my last video, which is One Wee's Gravity. Yeah, so Gravity just has so many cool things to it. This guitar slide you heard. It has this uh, really cool drum fill at the end for my drummer nerd. It has some really cool instrumentation to it, and that, that helped me end up liking it a lot throughout this month and playing it quite a bit. So, yeah, it's just surprising for me, too, because I typically hate English releases because they make me cringe with the lyrics, but Gravity didn't have any cringy lyrics, and I'm very thankful for that. Moving into number seven, we have our first of a few girl groups on this list. We have Try Bees, We Are Young. Now, this is actually the first Tri B song, or maybe just title track, that I've gotten into. Like, I haven't been a huge fan of Tri B, but I think We Are Young was the catchiest thing they have done for me personally, and the thing I've liked the most. And it shows with the amount that I've listened to it this month. Like, I listened to Witch quite a bit too, Witch was also good, which was a B side, but their title, We Are Young, just hit the most for me from Tri B. Moving into number six, we're gonna stick with the girl group side, but go solos, and we're gonna talk about the KRB artist Suvi with her song Missing You featuring Dawn. Now, it's not Edon, like, you know, Hyuna and Dawn. It's the Dawn from Hybe. And, bro, they go so well together. Suvi's typically a KRB artist, but this song's very poppy. So, if you're looking to get into KRB through some K pop, like, this might be a good place to start because Suvi normally does RB, but this is much more poppy. But the thing that pushed this over the edge for me, because I didn't think I'd like it that much when I first heard it, but that ending part with Dawn, she duets in the, the hook, and it, oh, it just hits so well. I love when features actually sing with the original artist instead of just having their own verse. It's, it's so well done. Moving into the top five, we're back into the boy groups though, and we have the boys with Roar. Now this track is so smooth, like for the longest time, the boys' debut was always my favorite song from The Boys. Like, I, nothing else really stuck with me from The Boys until Roar. I've listened to Roar so much. It is so smooth. I love the vocals. And just the instrumentation of the song is just, it's smooth. That, that's the best way for me to describe it. But it also constantly changes. It really left an impression on me that, that has a lot of replay value. Moving into number four, though. We we're going back to our female soloist because we got Lee Bada and her song Siren. Like a siren. Now, Lee Bada, like you just heard, has such a unique voice. If you love unique voices, like she's the artist for you, like holy shit, I'm so glad she's back. But out of all the songs she did, I listened to quite a few. But Siren stuck out the most just because of what it's about. Like it's not about the wee woo wee woo siren. It's literally about the, the Greek mythological creature, the ones that sit on those little islands in the Mediterranean Sea and sing beautiful songs to get sailors to go over to them. And then when the sailors get there, the, the, the sirens kill them and then eat them. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that's what it's about. I don't know the lyrics. There's no translations, at least yet. But the music video gives me those kind of vibes, and I'm really appreciative of that because I'm getting really bored of just the stereotypical love songs, the breakup songs, the I'm falling in love with you songs. I want some more unique concepts, and Lee Bada hit that for me with Siren, and I love that. Moving on to number three, we have a girl group of Perky, and the first B-side, and the only B-side on this list, Take. Now, Take 
oh, the 6-8 just hits for me. It's such a good feel with that 6-8. Yuki has such a cool rap, and just the song is really smooth with those perky vocals. You guys hear a pattern here when I'm talking about smoothness this month. I think you are, but yeah, Take was just such a smooth song, and the, the title for this track, which was a uh, Sweet Juice, was also pretty good. I liked it, not as much as I liked their titles from last year, but, you know, it's still good. I playlisted it, but Take just took the Take just took the cake for me. Damn, got them bars. Anyways, moving on to the top two, we have the final boy group on this list. And yet again, a girl group does hit number one, which I'll talk about in a second. But uh, yeah, it's been since June <laughs> and July that a uh, boy group actually got number one on this list. So hoping for March to turn things around. But TNX, Love or Die. Yeah, so this song is actually, again, just super smooth. I despise TNX's debut. It wasn't like, I guess it wasn't the worst thing in the world, but I didn't like how much it changed. It was a bit too loud for me personally. But Love or Die is like the complete opposite. And it just like really has so much replay value for me just because of how smooth it is. Again, smooth, but how smooth it is. And uh, I, I just really love how their vocals matched with that acoustic sound behind it. But moving into number one, my most listened to track of February probably but my my favorite track is a group that's now in the number one spot twice in four months triple s and their song rising triple s is a group i fell in love with for generation and i don't think rising is as good as generation was but rising definitely lived up to the standards i was expecting of them i was really worried triple s would go a completely different direction with this official debut but they didn't, and they kept that same kind of vibe that Generation have, and they really have this sound to me, and I love this sound. It works really, really well. But yeah, that's gonna do it. Thank you all for joining me. Those were my 10 favorites. Put yours down in the comments below, and shout out to my Patreons you see on screen. If you want to see reactions, I did reactions to Triple S, Purple Kiss, uh, Huh, NCT, One We, all, all of those are on my patreon so if you're curious in reactions to any of those go check out my patreon it's just five dollars a month um it support me because i do play the music in my videos so you know k-pop companies take all the money so you know it really helped me be able to keep doing this uh but if not just come join us on discord the link's in the description come be a part of our community i'd love to see you there but just for watching this video thank you so much i do appreciate it feel free to subscribe and i will see you guys next time have a wonderful rest of your day everyone bye <laughs>